Hello, I'm Johnny and this is my YouTube channel, Take Two. I had a sneezing fit, that's why it's Take Two. And a dripping tap, and I've tightened it, and it's still dripping. So, must have to replace the washer. Anyway, enough of that. So, with me getting into watercolours lately, I bought a few books a few months back. Um, to help me um, get better with watercolours so I just thought I'd show you them um, so this one here it's a thick book I thought I had loads of information but it's like practice things at the back um, do I need to scroll out of it no that's in what a dial yeah so um, it's really colourful with all the illustrations on the front um, it says includes 24 sheets of watercolour paper. I'll show you there at the back. Uh, boost your watercolour confidence. Over 60 exercises to build skills and ignite creativity by Katie Pott, um, publisher Search Press. Look at the mushroom there. In the back of it, I'll read it to you. Um, learn to use watercolours with confidence with this generous and easy to use book of exercises and templates. Katie Putt's beautiful presented exercises will help you, you help will help you use this expressive and fun medium to the best of your abilities. Well I hope so because I do need a lot of help. While the twenty four pages of high quality watercolour paper at the back of the book will give you a chance to practice with these new techniques. Uh, what I think I'll do is I will either draw them myself because I don't really want to be written pages out the book. Yeah, I think, well, if they're easy enough to draw, I think I'll draw them myself. Um, Find out about the essential techniques you will need to master this medium, including layering, creating negative space and working with colour. With 68 easy to follow exercises that will help you step by step through the creative possibilities of watercolour. So in other videos I will be doing the projects out of these books. Right, so... It says twelve ninety nine, but I didn't pay that. I think I paid a fiver for it. Because um, it said it was second hand, and I've looked through, and the pages are in excellent condition. And as you can see here, it's only got a few dints on it. So that doesn't matter much, does it? Right, so I'll just have a flick through. Uh, there's the colour wheel. I struggle a lot with that. And harmonious colours. Yes, well, maybe I should have looked through this when I was doing my colouring in. Ditching the pencil. Oh. I feel more um, confident using my pencil. And just using the and I always when I'm doing stuff like this I feel the need to go around it in a coloured pencil or a liner but um, I'll try and resist when doing these exercises less is more letting colours bleed oh yeah I love uh, letting the colours bleed looks gorgeous deliberate bleeding oh yeah because the bleeding the rad is usually uh, accidental and everything goes wrong, but as you can see, they're deliberate for the effect of the watermelon. Special effects. Yes, well, I tried this yesterday with a salt and it wasn't very good, but I have tried it in the past and it did look good. Letting the paint run. Yes, I tried to do that before and it just wouldn't, but when you don't want it to run, it does. Building the colour. 
I always struggle with that as well because um, when I'm putting the next layer on I seem to lift up the first one so maybe I have to let it dry long you know pulling the colour working white finding inspiration well I don't need to find any because I'll just continuous my head is just full of ideas Fixing mistakes, oh there are plenty with me. Hiding mistakes, creativity, creatively. Mixed media. Oh, the irises are gorgeous. Oh, I'll have to do with our octopus. Oh no, I won't be painting food. If it's in an exercise, I suppose I will. Finding your style. I've never found it yet. And these are the templates. So this is, oh it's like thick card. I wonder what weight, um, does it tell you? doesn't tell you, I don't think, the weight of the uh, paper, uh, but it's really thick. It's like cardstock, and it's very smooth. Um, so there's the, um, what do you call it, the vegetables, I don't know if you can you see. Yeah. So this is the test page, but like I say, um, I should be able to draw these myself. I say I don't want to be ripping the uh, pages out. There's the, um, what do you call them, jellyfish. Watermelon pieces. Ooh, butterflies. I mean, they'll be pretty simply enough to draw on them. Small, what's that? Is a pumpkin a fruit? And that's, um, oh, that's for reflections. That's crystal. And what's that? Can't see a thing. Practice draw. Yeah, that's why I can't see a thing, because it's not there. It just says practice your drawing. Sponge work. But, I mean, on this one, I think I will use this one just to see what the paper quality is like and if it is really good takes a lot of water then I might just rip some of the pages out oh but I don't like ripping pages out of books oh look mushrooms yes and the iris so that is that book I will look forward to doing the projects in that Um, this other one Art for Modern Makers, Creative Watercolour and Mixed Media, A Step-by-Step -step Guide to Achieving Stunning Effects, Anna Victoria Calderson. Play with gouache, metallic paints, masking fluid, alcohol and more. And I just loved the design on that and I thought if they're the type of the projects you're going to do, I'll get this book. And what was the price on this? I got this second hand as well. You can see it's got a few dints in it. Um, $16.99. I didn't pay anywhere near that. The journey of discovery through experimentation starts here. Start with the essentials. Take a step-by-step -step look. Learn to paint a variety of striking organic motifs. Staring skies and clouds. Oh, that sounds nice. Sparkling galaxies. I've always wanted to paint a galaxy. Looks gorgeous. Dazzling gems. Right. Also. Oh, also. Creative watercolour. Yeah, that's what I've got. Colour harmon harmony for artists. Mm. Right, so I'll show you a quick flick through with this. And I'll also be filming the projects that I do over to here as well. Oh, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Be even better with a dragon flying over there. Right, crystals. 
There's the contents. There's the preface. Oh, look. I just can't bear a messy palette like that. Oh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, that's a nice pattern. Showing you all the media. Gouache. Yes, I got some gouache in a... I think it was... Yeah, it was an artful box. And I haven't used it yet. And I'm just dying to, but... It looks like... Really difficult, really challenging, but I'm up for the challenge. Oh, that shimmers. I've got a few of those paints. I think uh, it's Paul Rubens. The pearlescent, iridescent and metallic. I don't think I've used them yet. It's like a lot of things. I get loads of things in the sale and then I don't end up using them. But I will. Paint brushes. I've got hundreds of them. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Yes, I'd like to create something like that. As long as the white dots aren't with a gel pen, because I think all three of mine are broke. Oh, another messy palette. Essential watercolour, how to, handling your paints. Well, normally when I get one of these books, I don't read all this stuff. I just try to get into the projects, but I will be reading everything thoroughly. Because that's probably where I'm going wrong. Salt over watercolour, yes, that leaves a very good effect. When I, I was doing it a few years ago, I and some, um, made some stones. And I put that on like mossy effect. That's good. Bleach. Oh, I don't think I'd use bleach. I know you can get some um, stuff. And it smells like it's got bleach in, but I wouldn't just use bleach out my bathroom. It ended up going through my table. Mixing watercolour and rubbing alcohol. Yes, I've got some of that. So I think I'll try that instead of bleach. Um, sorry, do I need to zoom in a bit more? I'll just pause you for a second. I'm dying for a drink. Oh, that tab's driving me up the wall. And now the fan started making a, a noise. Probably overused. Gallery of mixed media experiments. Oh, look at that. Looks like a lot of bubbles, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. But I just think you could do with something in the background. I suppose if it's like cloudy, you wouldn't see the moon or anything. But a dragon, you might. Preparing your surfaces for skies. I haven't got one of them, a compass. I normally use a plate or something. Oh, you could make some uh, cards. That would make a nice card. It's a bit bland though, isn't it? Just with the sky. Oh, these colourful clouds are better. Ocean sunrise. Oh yes, I think I'll enjoy doing these. It looks easy. But I suppose when I come to doing it, it won't be. Oh, lightning storm. Celestial skies. Constellations. Oh, I've got one of them. Oh, making the suns and the planets. Oh, that'll be interesting. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Shine on the paper. 
Oh, yeah, I like that. Gems and crystals. Oh, that looks nice. That looks like a galaxy and a crystal. Um, Earth and the sacred geometry. Oh, the seed of life. That looks like an interesting project. Oh, I don't like that. Right, so that's the end of that book. Next one, Creative Watercolour. It's by the same author as this one, Anna Victorian Caldas Anna Victoria Calderson. Arts for Modern Makers, Creative Watercolour, a step by step guide for beginners. Creative create with paints, inks, markers, glitter and more. I'm not supposed to on glitter because it just gets everywhere. Uh, oh, that's nice. Oh, and they're nice as well. Do you think that's done with the um, jelly roll? It looks like it, doesn't it? I'll have to get another one. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I think I like this book better. Flowers and insects. There's the media and the colour wheel and swatches. Basic techniques. That's what I need to know. Oh, that's lovely. That's stippling, splattering. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, it shows you how to overlay them. Is that the way to overlay? Well, getting into the floor. Scanning and editing in Photoshop. Well, I'm not very good at that. Don't you have to pay for Photoshop now? I bought this thing. Oh, and I haven't used it. You know those, um, it's like a little tablet and you can draw on it and stuff like that. Well, there was this massive sale and I got a massive one. Didn't cost me very much. And then when I went to, I put it up, I connected my laptop and everything like that. You had to pay for the software. I think it was £40 a month. Well, I couldn't afford it at the time. Don't think I can afford it now, but um, yes, so I haven't used it. Pretty much the first on all the computer side. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. This is the side I like. Creating on paper with paint. Oh, gorgeous. There, she shows you how to um, draw them, sketch it. And I mean, I suppose if you struggle, you could just draw, because I can never get the petals the same size or the same shape. But I mean, in reality, flowers aren't uh, perfect either. Um, leaves the petals are all different sizes but i suppose i could draw one of them out transfer it to a piece of cardboard and then just draw around it and go around that will make things easier 
Um, loose and watery roses. Paint a bouquet. See all these um, designs are very nice for cards. And I've got a few uh, watercolour blank cards that I can use. Oh, is that with the glitter? Oh, I'm going to put on the glitter. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there I was talking about butterflies yesterday when I was colouring in. I said it's just a shame that butterflies have got identical wings because I don't like anything to match. And it's just a struggle, isn't it, doing something identical? And she's done um, the drawn trick. She's drew it and traced it, I suppose. That's all she's got. I wonder if she's um, drew one half and then flipped the, um, she's drew one half, traced it and then flipped the tracing paper over so she got an identical one. Because those are just perfectly identical. So I think that's what I'll be doing. Oh, look at them all. Gorgeous. On the step by step, there uh, she's shown you of a ladybird. You don't see many ladybirds now, it's probably all the pesticides. Years and years ago, when I was walking along the beach, the uh, wall just before, just after the beach, there was thousands and thousands of uh, ladybirds all over the wall and I don't know if it was the, um, you know, the salt off the sea. But it's quite rare to see just one nowadays. I said there has been a decline in um, by 80% of insects over the years. So they're asking you not to kill spiders other insects well is a spider classed as an insect don't know well you're not to kill any creepy crawlies and flies but ooh but i suppose um flies have got the purpose of them there i mean they get rid of um dk rotten dead animals i suppose yeah they serve the purpose that's nice. What a subject to talk about when I'm looking at bright flowers and fruit and vegetables. Berries. Kiwi. I love kiwis. I've got some, um, I'll show you. I've never eaten an avocado for years and I bought some and it says, put them on your in. Ooh, I think they're done now. And I got them and they were solid like concrete. So I put them on the windowsill and they feel squishy now. But they are very fattening, aren't they? So I think I'll try one of them later on today. Oh, isn't that nice? The texture in that. The colours. Garlic. Is that garlic or an onion? Looks like an onion, yeah. It's an onion. Oh, but that looks really nice and that's your finished result. Strawberry jam recipe and gift card. Oh. And that's lettering. I'm trying to get into that as well. Uh, got a calligraphy set. But um, I don't think I'll be able to manage it with a paintbrush. But fortunately, it's the back of the book. So I can just work with the other projects best. I mean, isn't it just gorgeous, isn't it? The writing. My writing's horrific. 
Right, so that is the end of the book. So I will be doing videos. I've made one of the projects out of these books. And I suppose practice makes perfect. And if I practice enough, I might become decent one day. So, thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.